Alright guys, how's it going? So there's a user on Facebook and they're trying to get to grips with the UV editing. So I thought this will be a good excuse to quickly show you how to unwrap an object like this. Now it's not the most complex of objects to be fair, but it does kind of wrap in on itself. So the first thing we really need to do is go to the UV editing. Now I'm going to show you two different techniques. One that will get you out of a pickle if you're ever stuck and the proper way to be honest. So you can see here, I'll assign a new UV map, 1024, let's call this UV map 1, 1024, 1024, and we'll just give that a slight colour and we'll hit OK. So the next thing I need to do is press A to select all of the mesh. So with the object selected, the first thing we'll take a look at is using a light map pack. So if we come up to UV, we can go to the light map pack, we can set the image size, so that was 1024, we can leave the pack quality on 12 and we can actually set a margin here. Now the margin is essentially the space in between the grid and we can put this right down to zero if we need to and we can hit OK. And that should pretty much give us a decent UV map. It should be pretty fine. So one thing you might notice if I select this polygon and then select this polygon, they're technically not next to each other and this would make painting and UV mapping a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest. But what we can do here is we can select all of the mesh, we can right click on it follow active quads. Essentially what follow active quad does is it just follows the quads around and it means you can actually paint so, so just to give you an example I'll select this polygon, I'll select this one, I'll select this one, even if we do a loop select you can now see that the quads kind of align and they're not jittered all over the place. So I'll press A to select all of the mesh and obviously we need to constrain this to the box. So what we can technically do here is there's a few ways. We can go to UV, we can pack the islands again. And that should give us a pretty decent UV map that's kind of squared off. Now one thing that you might actually notice is these polygons are not square. They're kind of more rectangular. So we can actually kind of correct this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly delete this UV map. With the whole object selected, I'll go to UV. And most people will just hit unwrap. And you'll get something like this. And that's not what we need. We essentially need to mark a seam or indicate to Blender, look, this is where I would like you to actually unwrap it. So what I can do here is I'll quickly undo this. I'll press 2 to select the edges and I'm just going to loop select an edge all the way around like this. So we kind of get this spiral pattern. The next thing I'll do is I'll go to UV and I'll mark the seam. I'll then select all of the object and now I will do an unwrap and we get this. Now this is not perfect, if we go to texture paint we'll end up with distortion and skewing. So what we can do here is to kind of fix the mesh is we can come to the UV here and I'm going to just select a rectangle, I'll press 3 to select faces and I'm going to use this one as an example. So we'll zoom in and what I need to do here is kind of square this off, you'll notice how it kind of sits slightly off angle. If I press 1 to select points, I'm going to select these points, I'm going to press S to scale and Y and then zero on the numpad and you'll see here it's automatically straightened up. I'll do the exact same again, S to scale, Y and then zero on the numpad, that should be perfect. And what I can do is select the sides, so I'll press S to scale, X and zero and you'll notice that it straightens up. What you can also do here is if you select these two points, you can actually right click and you can see here we have auto align and if I press this, it should kind of straighten things out just a little bit. But you're probably always best just using scale and scaling it on the axis. So we have this really nice kind of straight polygon. I'll press 3 to select faces. I'm going to select this face and then going to right click and I'm going to follow the active quads. And there we go. We get a much more accurate UV map. You can see here it's much more rectangular. Now we could move this around and scale it and scale it up to the size of the UV window. But you're probably best just going to UV and then just doing a pack island. And again if I do a follow active quads and I do a loop select, we have this perfect UV map. So hopefully that will kind of help you out a little bit. Do me a favour guys, if you have any comments or suggestions regarding UV mapping, please, I would love to hear it. I know you can enable magic UV as well. Like your video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, just hit that goddamn button. Follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.